Hey guys, I have a huge empties for you guys. End of the year empties. So let's go ahead and jump in. And first up is by Tree Hut. You guys know I have so many of these and so many empties. Love me Chum's Tree Hut. If you're looking for a good scrub, that's the way to go. Next up are some Nair Wax Ready Strips. These just suck. I did not like them. Does it take out hair? Yes. Does it take it all at once? Sometimes. Does it leave like a sticky residue? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I didn't have much luck with these, uh, even though now I don't even use them because now I have been doing laser and highly recommend laser. <laughs> Next up is the Space Wash from Starface. This is a good face wash if you just have normal skin and don't have any kind of problematic skin. Really nice, just like everyday wash. Next up is something that I absolutely love. I have purchased these time and time again. I love wearing these, especially in the morning before I do my makeup. These are the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydro Gel Eye Patches. Highly recommend if you have like dry under eyes, mature skin, or if you just wanna take care of your skin, these are really nice to just hydrate underneath the eyes and just pep you up in the morning. And it just kind of makes um, your makeup go on smoother as well because now they're nice and hydrated. Next up is the C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. This is a really amazing vitamin C. Their stuff is pricey, so that's just something to be aware of. I got this in one of those like bundle packages where it has like a lot of minis in there, and I did really, really enjoy this. It's amazing. Uh, I want to try more of their stuff, but we shall see because I already have a lot of skincare to be honest but I did really like this. Just, you know, I don't know. Let me know what are your thoughts on Drunk Elephant because I know some people like absolutely love them and some people just like are like, no, they're bad. <laughs> uh, next up is the Benefits of the Professional. I have a full size now. This is the tiny mini one. Really great setting spray, helps the longevity of this, the makeup. Also takes away that powdery look from the skin, which is one of the reasons I can't stop using setting sprays. Next up are these lashes from MAC. Oh, I, I'm not even going to show them because I can't, I don't have a name for them, but whatever. These I absolutely love. These are the CEO style from BoxyCharm and Lily Lashes. If you can get your hands on these, these are fluffy, gorgeous. I love them. Just very dramatic and beautiful. I wore them. I don't even know how many times on this channel. I got more than like 15 to 20 uses from them. It just amazing. I finally was like, okay, Melissa, stop. Also, if you're looking for a more natural, beautiful, uh, style the demi wispies are absolutely amazing as well as you can see there I used up six pair next up is a makeup balm from the drugstore I didn't really care for it it kind of left that waxy residue that I don't care for it didn't do a good job of taking away my makeup and this is the Freeman makeup remover and cleansing balm it has coconut oil and vitamin E I bought this because I had run out of all of my favorites and was like, oh, let me just pop one in my basket and use this until I order like my pharmacy or something like that. Did not like. <laughs> Next up is something that I already purchased. If you guys saw my Sephora haul, love Cinema Secrets. This is their regular one. This does live, leave a really strong order and you have to be careful. Like you want to use it in a well ventilated area. I bought their lemon one and I like that one more. It doesn't have as strong of a scent and it does leave like a lemony scent to your brushes. But the Cinema Secrets is absolutely amazing, especially if you want to just clean your eye brushes. I don't recommend using this on like expensive brushes that are like natural haired or goat hair. Uh, this is a little bit too harsh for that. So I do recommend using like something softer, but especially like a lot of my synthetic brushes, I use this and it's like one and done. I use it mainly for eye brushes and face brushes. I literally wash because I would just have to use so much of this to wash those face brushes. It would be impossible. Here I have another one of the tree huts. I can't even tell you how many of these I've used up, but this one is in cotton candy. That one has a really, really sweet smell. The first one that I showed is the coco colada and it smells kind of like a piña colada, which would make me hungry. Next up is something that I used up in my project pan and it's the hourglass. Uh, this one I hit pretty much a uh, pan on and this one I used up completely. This one is going to be impossible to use up because it's a highlighter, but I'm just happy that I feel like I got my money's worth and really use that up. 
Next up, I love these lashes. I feel kind of silly showing these. Let me know if you guys like don't want me to show them, but this is the House of Lashes Iconic Light. These are just absolutely stunning for like a beautiful natural, but like with a little bit of glam to them. Love House of Lashes, so highly recommend those. Next from that same Drunk Elephant set, this is the F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. Love this, very hydrating to the skin. I wouldn't say that it's like mind blowing where I'm like, not like the vitamin C. Like I feel like a lot of other brands have hydrators like this and they're just as good. For example, this baby right here, this is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Serum. This was super hydrating. I use this like crazy every single night because it just really hydrated my skin. Love, love, love Glow Recipe and this one was amazing. Next up, this was a hydrating mist that I would use at night as well for extra hydration on my skin, all over like my neck. I love using hydrating sprays at night to just really hydrate this whole area. And this is by Glossy Box. This is their hydrating mist. Their skincare all has like this specific scent to it. Either you're gonna love it or hate it, but I really, really enjoy their scent. Next up is by Pop Beauty. This is a really nice like, jelly kind of concealer a con concealer cleanser and it does a really really great job of cleansing likewise this is only like to cleanse the skin it's not like targeted to anything and this is called the fizz jelly cleanser next i have a perfume i really love juicy couture and i used up this one this one is cold i don't remember <laughs> but I really like it. It's the one that has like the crown on top. All of their perfumes are just my vibe. They're like that, like that kind of like um, really sweet and yummy kind of sense to them. I love me some Juicy Couture. They have like those fruity, just yummy smells. Next up is something that was also in my project pan. This was super hydrating on the skin. This is the No Pro Pore, No Pore Plum Priming Water. Not gonna say that again, but use this up completely. Really nice, very hydrating. If you have oily skin, you might wanna stay away from that because it does kinda leave like that dewiness and oiliness to the skin. Next up is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Another thing that I was in my project pan, I actually stopped using this because the undertone just wasn't right on it. This is warm neutral. I don't know if over time it changed, but it just looks too rosy undertone on my skin now. Next is one of these sunscreens that I really enjoy. This is called the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil from City Beauty. They have just an amazing sunscreen because it's kind of like a matte sunscreen. I really highly recommend this if you have more like oily skin because it's like most sunscreens are kind of like greasy and this one's more mattifying. This has an SPF of 39 and I really enjoy this underneath makeup. I love the fact that it doesn't give like way too much oiliness and it just doesn't have that like super strong SPF smell as well. So really great one. I wish on this one that the packaging was different so you could actually see how much is in there, but I just kept going until the pump gave out. Uh, something that I'm gonna be throwing away is this. This is the Maybelline Dream Undercover. I didn't realize that this had expired at the beginning of this year. I've been finding products. I really like the fact that they have the expiration date here on the top. And I always get, I always notice because I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong with this foundation? Like, why is it applying like that? Or why does, like when I squeeze it out, it looks like that. And this one is expired. So I feel like I only got like three uses out of this, which is such a waste. It's one of the reasons that I am on a low buy and really trying to declutter stuff. Next up is something that is nice, but I, I just could not um, bring myself to keep using it. This is the Earth Harbor Nymph Nectar, and that's what it looks like. I did quite a bit of damage on here, but it's super thick, and then when you apply it on, it leaves like your skin super greasy, so I would use it at night, especially like those nights that I wanted like super hydration on my skin, but it's so hard to get out that it's such a pain in the butt, and sometimes it would like stain my sheets and stuff. So I was like, eh, yeah, no more. But I do like the brand Earth Harbor. I've tried some of their other stuff, but sadly this one, you know, I like the hydration, but I didn't like that it was just like, like way too thick and like overly, um, you know, like greasy to the point where it would like stain my sheets. 
Next up is a really, really great eye serum. This is by Dermalogica. This is their Biolumin C eye serum. Really, really great for hydrating underneath the eye and just bringing brightness. Loved, loved this. Next up is another one that I love. <laughs> I use, like you can tell that I love them because I just use them up so quickly. This is the Glow Recipe Waterman, Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I need this in my life again, but I'm gonna hold out because I have other products that I need to use up. But this one just gives like this radiance to the skin. It looks beautiful. I would use this every morning because I just love the hydration and beautifulness that it gave my skin. Even if you don't wear makeup, it just gives like a, like a glow to the skin, which I love. Absolutely recommend Glow Recipe. Just love, love them. Next up is by Farsali. This is their Rose Gold Skin Mist. I was just using this as a hydrator at night. Likewise, like the, the Glossy Box one. And just really putting it all over like my shoulders, even like sometimes I'll even mix it in with like if I put lotion on and just really hydrate just to use up the product and get like the hydration. I didn't really care for this as far as for makeup wise, like as a setting spray, I really liked it more as a hydrating spray. <clears throat> Next up is by Huda Beauty, which I usually love, but this mascara just was not it for me. This wand is just way too thick and just would clump up like crazy. She did have the other side, which really helped a lot, and this would help like lengthen and kind of get those clumps out. Out of the two, the one that I would use the most would be this side, and I really didn't care for the volume side. I wish that the wand was a little bit different, and I think that that might have helped. Overall, this is just an okay mascara overall. I really wanted to expect more from it because Huda is one of those brands that I usually love almost everything that she comes out with, and I like half of this. I like the side that's like curl and lengthen. The one with volume, I would just try to like put in just at the top of the um, lashes, like the volume, and then cur like, like comb it out with the other side. Next is the Give Them Lala. This is another mascara. This one was okay. I really enjoyed it as well. It just kind of like has small spikes to the wand and it works really nicely to, you know, get in there. But I have tried other formulas that I like more. So this one was just okay as well. Next up is Luna Magic. This is a Vava Pink lash primer. I love using lash primer. Even today, these are my natural lashes and I use lash primer all the time because I just feel like it helps give volume. It helps give length. One of my favorites that I'm using right now is, choo -choo 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 -choo, is this one by Item Beauty. Oh my God, this lash primer is life. It's a two in one, so one side is pink like this one and gives you volume, and then the blue one gives you length. Oh, this thing is amazing. I will be repurchasing that because it's so freaking good. Next is the City Beauty Eye Revive Firming Serum. This I like because it kind of gives like that tug, like it takes away like that like it makes your under eye firm, but it also is very sticky underneath there. So I like it, but you have to be cautious. I feel like you should use this at night. You do feel like it kind of like, I don't know, like it, it kind of like hardens and kind of just like makes your skin taut, but it does leave like a sticky residue. So you have to be super cautious. And last is my ride or die thrive beauty what is this called the liquid lash extensions this is my ride or die for mascara love the wand on this love the formula this is just perfection for me it just works beautifully on my lashes extends them and the best part is it leaves no raccoon eyes when i wash this off it just comes off like bloop, comes off completely no issues whatsoever, like the whole thing just glides off. It's the only mascara I take when I'm on vacation. I am subscribed to receive it every three months because I need one in my collection at all times. Can't say enough. Anyways, that is it for these huge empties. Hopefully I didn't chat too much. I try to do like a, you know, spitfire review. Uh, 
Don't forget to like this video, support me, show me that you like this kind of content by liking, commenting, sharing, you know, the whole nine YouTube thing. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Social media is down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.